All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Derek with Flip and Drip, and today we're going to be talking about money and what is it? Because I feel like we've been sold this facade of what it is from the school system. And if that's something that interests you, just stay to the end of the video. It'll be a quick one. But with that being said, let's just jump straight into it. All right, so we're talking about money today, and um, this is going to be an interesting video. See, ultimately, money is just a median of exchange, which basically means being able to trade it for something that is beneficial to you. You give up your time, they give you paper. You take that paper and go buy food because you need to live. Also, money has to have the ability to be broken down. Basically, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, dollars, fives, tens, hundreds, and so on. Also, money, hard money, is a store of value. And people believe our dollar bill is money, but it's a currency. See, the one main difference between currency and money for me is, well, whenever things hit the fan, just like what it did, you have to be able to print currency to get out of the situation. So currency is inflationary. But anyways, let's talk more about money. See, the funny part of what America teaches us is you trade your time for money and then you use your money to buy the things you need to live. They never teach us how rich people use money or get money because they don't trade their time. No rich person is working a nine to five. Sure, they might be in and out of meetings and handling business throughout the day, but they operate differently. And I think that's part of the reason um, people have a hard time understanding Bitcoin because in most of our lifetime, literally most people that watch this, if not everyone, has really only used like the dollar bills, quarters, and uh, debit cards, credit cards, and whatnot. And credit is actually the way to make more money. Whole different video, but that's just, you know, I just want to throw it in there. But money is definitely an interesting topic because I feel like a lot of people get currency and money misunderstood. And that's okay because that's really how our school system is designed. And, uh, you know, I'm just a YouTuber, barely even a YouTuber. But I'll tell you one thing, I am very nosy and I'm willing to learn constantly. Just my thing was school wasn't for me because I'm more of a business person and I understood that. And um, I'm not ever going to go get in college debt for a piece of paper. But anyways, going back to money. Money is also a store of value. Now, before I say this, just keep in mind the difference between currency and money, but money is always a store of value, right? Gold, silver, and now Bitcoin, and you know, most likely Ethereum and all that others would do up. In my personal opinion, again, my personal opinion, Bitcoin is money, but it's not currency. Bitcoin is money because it holds value. You could easily divide it by Satoshis to Bitcoin, 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin, and it's trusted. Now, the reason I say Bitcoin can't be currency is because currency, again, has to be inflationary because you have to be able to create more when needed. And realistically, think about it, if there's only 21 million Bitcoin in the world, any smart person would logically hold on to it because it pretty much just goes up over time. I know it has bear markets every, you know, three years, the fourth year is a bull, but it's pretty much always going up and it will continue to go up because it's so limited. Now, in my opinion, this is how rich people get rich. See, we trade our time for money, but when you trade your time for money, it gets taxed. These people are solving problems. And once they solve the problems, the market decides, which the market is you, me, your neighbor, everybody else, decides if it solved the right problem. And if it does, money comes in, but they're not working because they have people working for them. Time, realistically, is the most important asset in the world. So if you use your time properly in America, you won't get taxed for it, which is really ironic because they tell us to go get a job, a nine to five job, get a retirement fund, get a 401k, get a Roth, blah, blah, all that. They don't ever teach you about what money is. They don't teach you what currency is. They don't teach you how to use it because in all reality, money is just a tool. Well, currency is a tool. Money is kind of a tool too, but currency is for sure a tool. It's a hammer. You get it and you use it for something else to create wealth or whatever you're looking for. Time, whatever it is. But yeah, guys, that was just a quick little video on money. I hope it made sense. Every video I make is just a freestyle. However, I feel when I wake up in the morning, whatever it is. But just know money holds value. It's a median of exchange. It's not necessarily a dollar bill. It could be a cow and rice and chickens and whatever it is. And currency. Well, I mean, everyone sees it now. Currency is inflationary. But with that being said, guys, my name is Derek with Flip and Drip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.